Welcome to IIT PAL program. Today we will first discuss physical properties of carbonyl compounds. The simplest carbonyl compound methanol that's why its polymer which is called para formaldehyde It is solid and it is commercially available and uh, in the lab generally paraformaldehyde is used. Ethanol or acetaldehyde is a volatile liquid. and other aldehydes and ketones are generally liquids at room temperature. Ketones are higher than And this is due to molecular interaction due to arising out of dipole dipole interaction. So, in aldehydes and ketones, this dipole dipole interaction is very significant. On the other hand, the boiling points of aldehydes and ketones are lower than
and this is due to absence of hydrogen bonding. which is present in alcohol, but not in aldehydes and ketone. And that is why we can compare the boiling, boiling points of alcohols and the aldehyde corresponding aldehydes and ketones. So, their molecular mass is around 58 to 60. So, similar molecular mass but they have different boiling points. So, alcohols is higher and this is due to hydrogen bonding and then they have dipole dipole interaction. And here, here mainly the Van der Waals force is there. Also, the lower aldehydes and ketones has been found to be soluble in water. And this is due to hydrogen bonding with water. like this network is there. And as the substudents as the substudents increase the solubility decrease. because this is hydrophobic part sorry hydrophobic and this is hydrophilic <coughs> lower aldehydes have Half pungent color, pungent 
मेल एंड एज द the smell becomes more fragrant now we will discuss some reactions and the most popular reaction of aldehyde ketone is nucleophilic philic addition reaction because carbonyl group is a electrophilic center and thus defined nickel files can react to it it so what is the mechanism as you know that the carbonyl along with its substituents are in planar and what happens the nickel file nickel file approaches perpendicular to the plane and you get a tetrahedral intermediate and in this process the carbonyl carbon here it is sp2 so it changes its hybridization from sp2 to sp3 and this intermediate is called tetrahedral intermediate and generally this is the slow step so you can write equilibrium this is slow and red determined step and this is fast now we will discuss about reactivity so aldehydes are more reactive than ketone and it is due to two reasons both steric as well as electronic so what is the steric factor now if you have two alkyl group then it increases the steric effect in the carbonyl
Also, electronic effect is that because we know that alkyl groups have generally plus I effect, inductive effect. So, it decreases the electron two alkyl groups the electrophilicity So, what happens the carbonyl carbon in ketone is becomes less electrophilic because of this 2 plus i effect. <clears throat> now, we will discuss benzaldehyde and acetaldehyde reactivity. So, which one uh, will be more reactive benzaldehyde and acetaldehyde? So, generally aliphatic aldehydes are more reactive. So, acetaldehyde more reactive than benzaldehyde. So, what is the reason here? The benzaldehyde, this aromatic. So, if you teach resonance structure like this, <coughs> and this is called plus R effect of phenyl group. And due to plus R effect, the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group gets reduced. Okay, now, we will uh, discuss some examples of nucleophilic addition reactions and the first one is the hydrogen cyanide addition. So, examples Generally, the hydrogen cyanide addition to carbonyl compound is slow, but if you add some base, then the more potent cyanide nucleophile is generated and that makes the reaction faster. Similarly, other 
nucleophiles can be added like um, sodium hydrogen sulfide And since it is a negative charge resides on sulfur, so it is already a potent nucleophile and it can give addition products with aldehydes and ketones. Sulfonic acid is more acidic, so it will displace it proton to the O minus charge and you get this one. And then after aqueous workup or acidic workup, you get this one. So, this compound <coughs> is water soluble and this can be converted back to the <coughs> carbonyl compound by treatment with strong <coughs> And the, as this compound can be converted to the carbonyl compound, this process is used for the purification of carbonyl compounds. <coughs> also, the position of the equilibrium lies right side for aldehydes. And to the left side, and this is due to steric region. So, aldehyde and ketones generally react with one molecule of monohydroxic alcohol Because the terms are different, first I am doing reaction with aldehydes, then I will do with ketones.
and this mono alkoxy is called hemiacetal. So, when one molecule of the mono hydric alkyl reacts, it generates hemiacetal. And then the hemiacetal reacts reacts further to generate dialkoxy compound and that is called that is called acetal And generally, you have to use anhydrous acid, that is like HCl gas. So, because in this reaction, water is eliminated, and to drive the equilibrium right side, you have to treat, the, you have to remove this water either by distillation or you can use molecular sieve also. And this distillation you can do by Dinstack apparatus or, or molecular sieve. Similarly, ketones also react. So, the term for ketone is defined. So, this is called hemiketal and ketal. Let us discuss one example. So, if the alcohol has two hydroxyl or that is called diol, then you can single, you can directly get the ketal like if you treat a ketone with ethylene glycol. So, ethylene glycol is a diol and with one molecule 
you can get the ketone and as i told you that if the water is uh, removed here but if you treat this ketal or acetal with dilute H cell so if you put water <coughs> dilute H cell has water and that will hydrolyze this ketal or acetal to the carbonyl compound that's why this ketal and acetal sometimes acts as a protecting group for carbonyl groups because you can easily generate the acetal and ketal as well as deprotect it. Okay, the fourth one we will discuss addition of Gignard reagent. <coughs> And Gignard addition, Gignard reagent is generally R, we can present here R M G X. So, Gignards are um, very useful reaction and you can generate generally different alcohols from aldehydes and ketones and which has been already discussed unit 11 plus 12. And in this addition, we can get primary secondary as well as tertiary alcohol depending on the choice of the carbonyl compound. So, if you use formaldehyde you get a primary alcohol here. And generally after reaction the second step you have to treat with aqueous work up or acidic work up. So, this is primary alcohol. Then Any aldehyde other than formaldehyde will give you secondary alcohol. And a ketone. So, this is an important method to generate different types of alcohols from aldehydes and ketones. And now, we will discuss addition of <coughs> ammonia and its derivatives. that can be present by NH2, ZNH2. And since in this reaction the water is eliminated, that is why this if you can remove the water then this will drive the equilibrium to the right side and high yield of this product that is called any imine compounds you can get. And 
and depending on the choice of z you can get different immune derivatives like in the powerpoint you can see if you treat the aldehydes and ketones with ammonia you get that is called imine and when you treat with amine then you get substituted imine which is called sieve base similarly with hydroxyl amine if you treat you get a c double bond noh which is called oxim then if you treat with <coughs> phenyl hydrazine then you get phenyl hydrazone double bond in in ph and a special hydrazine which is 2 for dinitrophenyl hydrazine and when you treat this with carbonyl compound you, you get the hydrazone which is called 2 for dinitrophenyl hydrazone or which is solidly called 2 for dnp and this is orange solid so this is also useful for the taste of aldehydes and ketones and when semi carbazide are treated with aldehydes and ketones you get semi carbazol that is c double bond n nhco nh2 derivatives i am sorry that this nucleophilic there is a spelling mistake the correct spell will be new cleo so one l should be there in all slides now we will discuss some other reaction which is a reduction reaction. So, first we will discuss conversion. to alcohol. And generally aldehydes will give primary alcohol and ketones will give secondary alcohol. So, if you treat aldehydes with sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride, these are two common hydride reagent and this is generally more stronger. So, depending on the other functional group present in the molecule, you have to choose. <coughs> so, this will give primary alcohol. And any ketone on the reaction will give secondary alcohol. And same reagent can be used here also. Now, we will discuss another kind of reaction that is conversion of conversion of carbonyl compounds to hydrocarbons. What, is, what does it mean? That means, that C this carb keto group is converted to the CH2 group. And generally it can be done by two ways. So, the first one is Clemenson re reduction. What has been done in this method? That zinc amalgam in presence of concentrated HCl with convert to the CH2 derivatives. So, we will discuss what is the mechanism. <coughs> so, zinc generally takes parts in this reaction 
and the carbonic compound first absorbed in the zinc. So, this radical first formed and then zinc oxide is eliminated and this is zinc carbonoid. So, this has been found to be an intermediate for this Clemenson reduction and then H plus comes from the concentrated HCl. So, the hydride uh, hydrogen goes there and zinc gets plus 1. Then another hydrogen comes and zinc plus 2 eliminated. So, you get this 2 And it has been found that alcohol is not an intermediate in this reaction, because if you put alcohol under this condition, alcohol do not give the products. Another method which is complementary to Clemenson, because Clemenson reaction as you can see here the acid condition is used and another reaction that is Wolfkissner reduction there we will see basic condition is used. <coughs> Generally, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen hydrate is used, and you get this one. The hydrogen, and then if you treat with KOH base and some solvent like ethylene glycol. Any this. Uh, reaction needs also high temperature generally above 150 degree centigrade and then you get this one the hydrocarbon. So, we will discuss little bit about the mechanism. So, this is clear the hydrazine is formed. And then we discuss the mechanism. So, what happens in base? This proton gets eliminated, and then <coughs> resonance structure can be done like this. And then in this uh, carbon ion gets put on from water and you get or from the reaction medium, then hydrogen comes here and then 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 again base eliminates another hydrogen and you get A nitrogen gas eliminated and that drives the equilibrium to the right side. So, you get this carbon ion and then it gets water. So, we stop here this chapter 
Reaksjon.